Living in fear, it ain't what I'm trying to hear. Switched it over to Fox, kept clicking, I barely stopped. New guests on NBC, no one that represent me, so I got tired of waiting. Sitting master debate, give me some headlines, it must be past bedtime. Sleeping on me still like I ain't vitamin D for real. Rep your city, play devil's advocate, ain't ready, gon' have to sack a bit. Tell me something good, a recipe for success. Give me some timeline, shot session and flight deck. Hey, P, what's next? Bring the band out. So I be hot, damn, you know the down south jam. Ain't number good food, football, and marching bands. Said I be hot, damn, you know the down south jam. Ain't number good food, football, and marching bands. Said I be hot. Damn, you know the down south jam. Ain't no but good food, football, and marching bands. Say, I be hot, damn, you know the down south jam. Ain't no but good food, football, and marching bands. We tailgating in old schools, yeah, home team, if I know you. Damn, by you riding clean shit, just yeah, doing what I supposed to. Swerving out through GA. Love me some red clay. Mm. Where them girls thick and sweet really shit. Love me thing. some peace stay. Just down. slide through it, we grilling. Whole neighborhood Two. and they chillin'. That One. just a little taste of that Where southern country drafted, living. Man. God damn your time, send Daisy Deuce. Screaming for their favorite school. Saturday, your holiday when football season is session two. HB, see youth. Halftime at homecoming. If you ain't been to the south, homeboy, you ain't. Seen nothing, got a little bit of this, little bit of that, little bit of coat with a little bit of jack, little bit of waist with a whole lot of back, whole lot of women with a whole lot of that. Just slow it down, cause we can, bruh. Marching band in my hands, bruh. Jigging, doing my dance, bruh. Don't care if y'all can't understand the country ass I wanna be. A town by way of D, and it wouldn't be a party if I ain't bring my nigga peace. I be hot, you say damn, peace? you know the down south jam. Ain't number good food, foot. Ball and marching bands. Said I be hot, damn, you know the down south jam. Ain't number good food, football and marching bands. Said I be hot, damn, you know the down south jam. Ain't number good food, football and marching bands. Said I be hot, damn, you know the down south jam. Ain't number good food, football and marching bands. From the criticism. Yeah, man, this nigga CLD the Cato Boy Muse. Coming to you live in the fit. Front of the motherfucking draft studio. It looks like we drafted number one overall. Came out on top in the random for a chain. About to throw the audio in the motherfucking AirPod so I can hear y'all all show and keep this thing smooth at butter. You know what I mean? Great idea. Well, prayer of you to the rappers down that fam you from Grambling State to Southern U and every damn Atlanta school. We just third coast born, gumbo cornbread fed. We swimming in the Gulf and playing football in the sand. Down here, bands that make her dance. Bands that make her dance. Don't chump and flutes and snails. Got the clapping hands and shaking ass. My home state, they riding with me. That's Bama boy. The hard dick. See the bands out. They coming home from the Georgia Dome to the Superdome. Like the grill, then drop the meat. Hot Southern. Them bells, it's something to see. Drum major like Nicky Pete. Blow the whistle, then drop the beat. Cause music makes the world go round and where it go. You just don't know. That soul food got my belly fat. Being man and staring at her ass. Southeast Conference, they're great. National champs got seven straight. COD, he on the track, and all the marching bands love that. COD, he on the track, and all the marching bands love that. Yeah! Be hot, damn, you know the down south jam. Ain't number good food, football, and marching bands. Said I be hot, damn, you know the down south jam. Ain't number good food, football, and marching oh, that bands. Fool got Said in I right be in hot, time, damn, boy. You know the down south jam. Oh, Ain't number good food, football, I'm gonna start and the show just like this. This is COD the Cater Boy Music, aka CODMD. I will be operating the draft board for the Give Me Some Headlines GSH Cowboys Draft Show. Pew, pew, pew. What up, P? Man, boy. <laughs> right by the skin of your chin, chin, chin. By the skin of that bitch, man. 
Am my lighting good, cuz? Yeah, yeah. You can hear me well, cuz? I can hear you. You hear me? Yes, sir. Is we drafting Christian McCaffrey first overall? Uh, let's draft it, man. You sure? I don't see why not. Um, he jaded you last you go, year. Unless you want to go crazy, Austin Eckler has guaranteed to win people leagues this year. So that's why I said go Austin Eckler. And one of the people that I listened to says Austin Eckler's going to be that deal this year. So um, I feel like we may be able to get him. Yeah, I mean. Get I Christian you, McCaffrey first and then go get him? Um, he won't be there when we get back around to picking. So we can uh we can take CMC. He did Jamie last year, but that was that was last year, man. Or we Dalvin Cook is injury prone too. So uh this PPF baby, past, present, and future is the past indication of the future. Man, what's let's up? Go, let's let's go CMC, man. Let's go CMC. I believe in. We we'll drafted Christian McCaffrey, baby. All right, who we putting in the queue? Where are we going after um, running back with the first pick? So running back after the first pick, we either going to take the best available receiver, which hopefully DK Metcalf is at that spot. I see people taking quarterback super early. Um, so DK Metcalf may be in that spot. Yeah, Devontae going to be gone. Tyreek going to be gone. Diggs going to be gone. Um, AJ Brown may be there. Uh, DK may be there. I'm hoping DK there. DK not there, then we we'll, we can go. We can go ahead and just show up the uh, running back position and Chris Carson or um, Patty Mahomes back out of the backfield. Clyde Edwards Hilaire may be there. Chris Carson, you say? Uh, yeah, Chris Carson, uh, Seattle, Seattle. I wonder if I go full screen if, yeah, we'll still be on top of it. Perfect. Oh, shit. Uh, How many people in this league? Is it, is it 12? 10. Limited to 10. Now, I ain't play that shit. Okay, it's 10. The whole point of this is to avoid what I was dealing with in the other one. You feel me? Yeah, we may be able to get... Oh, oh no, they took Austin Eckler. Okay. Um, they took Jonathan Taylor. So we looking at the 20th and the 21st pick. So yeah, we looking at... Um, so who we going for? We are going for... We going for Chris Carson, if he there. Um, what position is he? You got to help me out. Uh, he is Seattle running back. Yeah, thirty-seven. So we made so all the way down there, you. bro. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying so. I'm used to picking in big leagues. So yeah, Antonio Gibson. If he there, if if Antonio Gibson is there, we taking Antonio Gibson. Okay, it's side pick. Najee Harris. Najee Harris at that spot. <coughs> right now, don't go get the best wide receiver. Uh, no, nah, go Najee Harris. All right, I think it's on us again. All right, so here we going. Receive a bit. Uh, Calvin Ridley or DK Metcalf. We still got Metcalf, AJ Brown, and Carson and yeah. I. Uh, go Metcalf. Metcalf. Um, hold on a second. We got time. We pull some up right quick. Yeah, we got one away. Trying to see where they rank. Yeah. Uh, Metcalf uh, projected to get two seventy nine. And he got Ridley on the board at 275. Who is your other one? You said who is your other choice? Carson? Um, so he is a running back though. So we got two really solid running backs to start it off. Um do uh do DK how much time we got? I'm waiting for 36 this. seconds. 36 seconds. All right, come on. What are you looking for? Communicate so that we both not just wait. You don't have what I have. Oh, uh, Calvin Ridley. Go Calvin Ridley. Go Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley. It's still a podcast, so talking to me help for lots of reasons. So I was looking for a... I have mentioned a, we on the same team. Excel spreadsheet. I, I I have to wait for it to open up. I have an Excel spreadsheet that I have, and it has the fantasy o matic um, the way that they have drafted, or the way that they rank the players. And so they had Calvin Ridley ahead of DK Metcalf. I just wanted to make sure that that's who they had. 
So we coming up quick again here. Who you got that you're looking for? Um, so we are in the fourth round. The only people left in IQ is AJ Brown and <laughs> Carson. Okay, that's so who I'm looking at right here is either yeah, either AJ Brown. Um AJ Brown. Damn, they got quarterbacks up out of here, boy. McLaurin, yeah, they gonna come they they finna come get them. AJ Brown is off the board, I think. Um so scary Terry McLaurin, if he on the board whenever we get back around us. Yeah, scary Terry. Wilson on our radar. Um, Allen Robinson. They took Allen Robinson. Motherfucker. They took uh, scary Robert, Terry. Robert, uh, yeah, CD Lamb, Robert Woods, and Mike Evans. And we'll see which one of those guys is available by the time we get to us. Um, Might as well throw Coop in the back of the queue. Yeah, Coop ain't bad. Oh, somebody went and got that fool. Soon we clicked on. So right now we have Christian McCaffrey, Najee Harris, Calvin Ridley. Um, we're gonna be looking to scoop up Robert Woods. We're gonna have your uh, one of your projected big impact players, Matt Stafford, throwing him the rock, and that's gonna be his number one target, I think, this year. Um, and then we are. So we're looking at we'll have running back the four cornerstone positions, yeah, yeah. And then, I saw a lot of sleepers go late in my draft that I did just before this. Like you had your um, like your rookies, your Jamar Chases. What's yeah. the other Alabama boy? I know that LSU. I don't know why I did that. Not not even Judy, your boy Heisman boy. Um, Devonte Smith. Yeah, he went late to hell in my last draft. They were sleeping on him. Like he way down here in the projection. So we come see him. All right, so who we get? He's still there. Robert Woods. Yeah, so we can either we can scoop Robert Woods or we can scoop Chris Carson. If we get we can throw Chris Carson in the flex, and we pick back to back, so we can get Carson and we can get Woods. We pick back to back. We got one in between us, don't we? No. Nah. They took Woods. Go ahead and get Carson and Coop. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and get Carson and Coop. Man. What about Thielen? Cause Coop injury prone, cuz. Um, Let's see. Thielen projected at 242. Coop projected at 231. So I'm going to look at where. Uh, do we have any tight ends that are still on the board? Like big time tight ends? Did they take Scary Terry? Tight ends left. Andrews, Hawkinson. You got Kyle Pitts on the board. Kyle Pitts. Okay. <laughs> and then we got. Uh, you with Pitts? Let's see. I'm with Pitts. Get it? Pitts. He a 190 guy. And our wide receivers, who we were looking at, we looking at Thielen, a 242 guy, Cup. 235 guy and Coop, who we were considering really like, a 230. So get Robert Woods, I like Cup. If we can have one of those, uh, one of those guys that Matt Stafford gonna be throwing to, that would be fantastic. Damn, you want Cup over Coop? I know we say he injury prone, or Tyler, but shit. Or, or Tyler Lockett because he, he's Russ downfield guy. I really like Tyler Lockett this season. Damn, boy, I like Thielen go, go, over here. Trust your, uh, trust your, trust your instincts. Go Thielen. Nah, man, you GM me. You say lock it nah. over everybody. I like Lockett. Yeah, I do like Lockett a whole lot. Yeah, we took that to the wire, boy. <laughs> Shit, so we went C-Mac, Najee Harris, Calvin Ridley, Tyler Lockett with Chris Carson in the flex. Fuck, I feel like we going to regret not going thee I'm going to leave him in the queue. I'm going to put I Cup in the queue. I'm going to pull the, the, I'm going to put the uh, Cup in the queue. Can I throw that uh, that Philly boy in the queue just in case for later? Yeah, he he gonna. I feel like he gonna be there. If they sleeping on him like that, then he gonna be there. Hell yeah, he gonna be there, cuz he gonna be there around eight. I think that's why I don't want to forget he down there. I'm gonna How many put rounds you on. Got? Fifteen or sixteen. Uh, I wanna I'm say go Chase Claypool in the queue as well. What position? Uh, he's a receiver. He's gonna be if you slide down. Or is he sliding up? Slide. I guess slide up. No, he should be higher than that. You got my text uh, he, about the boy Cole? 
think chemistry was our minor, but love was a study that we both Oh, y- you got a uh, Cole Beasley? You know I drafted the kid, man. Hey, to They took Chase Claypool already? Damn, Julio still on the board. Now nah, he got gone. As soon as I said that, I looked at him too hard. God damn, they getting receivers up out of here. Yeah. Um, Devontae Smith, the only one who's still in the queue from the receivers we queued, nigga. Oh, that's so, fine. I think, so what I, we doing? Um, we going uh, running back or we going to get receivers before they dry out? Uh, let's look at quarterback and let's look at tight end so we can show up our... Uh, the rest of our starting lineup. All right, so, so this is the highest Marquette in the queue. I'm sorry, yeah. Throw Andrews in the queue, Pitts in the queue. So throw your yeah, Andrews, and Logan in the Thomas, queue. and Logan Thomas. Yeah, I think Logan. Well, ooh, Thomas Dallas like, Goddard. He yeah. coming back off injury, ain't he? Yeah, I think Logan Thomas is. I think Logan Thomas got a real good year this year. Uh, and then we looking at quarterback. Just in case any of them get got. Uh, Jalen, throw your boy Maddie Stafford in there. You fucking right. I'm gonna click on him before Jalen. Um, I throw Ryan Tannehill yeah behind Jalen. That fool went stupid high my last one. That part of why I like doing these drafts, just seeing where the trends is going. He averaged sixty yards on the ground per game last year. Quarterback is a uh, quarterback is a higher priority, right? Uh, uh yes, it is. It's definitely that nigga guy, said bro. throw Jalen Hurts in there, boy. Yeah, man. The uh, the ability for him to run the ball as well as throw the ball is. He, a, he, he our first choice. Um, he's my first choice. If you if you want to if you want to go, man, but they right there with each other. Two eighty two, two like projected two ninety three, projected two ninety three. So. Um, one uh, one um, coach on his first job. Well, both of them on their first job. One of them um, got off as a Google. Dash. Allegedly, when they asked Aaron Rodgers who who the most talented person in the league slanging that pickle, he ain't say Patty Mayonnaise. He said that UGA boy Maddie Stafford. He sounds that whole different Maddie. We'll go Maddie Stafford did, bro. I'm all, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. So, man, Part of why I love that draft shit and get excited about it is because of the conversation around it. I ain't even yeah. trying to be a dickler stickler. No, no, no. I'm like, saying I, I trust I trust people when they go with their guts. If your gut say Maddie Stafford, then I'm, I'm all for your gut saying Maddie Stafford. <laughs> we literally arguing Bama versus UGA, though. So who we going with? <laughs> right, go, go, Matt, go Matt Stafford. You want to paper scissors rocket? Let the universe decide it. Let's do it. Best out of three or one. We got a minute. Best out of three. Go. Uh, Papers, scissors, rock, shoot. Gotcha. All right, you ready? Papers, scissors, rock, shoot. Gotcha. We going, Maddie. If y'all been watching the show, that the second time we played Paper, Scissors, Rock to decide something. I have thrown Rock four straight times and beat him in two, two out of threes. Just for those keeping record. Oh, it's our spot again. Who we getting? Yeah. Uh, we uh, going, wide out? Nah, we going uh, tight end. Go Mark Andrews and Logan Thomas. Um, let's see how they match up against I really like Mark Andrews because I think... Um, this gonna be, I Even think. Lamar's like the bad one. Never Lamar get out of the pocket and he looking up. He Lamar did. He had his sophomore slump his third year instead of the second year because he won his MVP that year. That's what I feel like. Okay. What you think? So go Mark Andrews. Yeah, go Mark Andrews. I like your instincts on that. Yeah. Bet. All right. So what we looking at? I'd want to block for this team that we built. I'd want to block for this team. Matt Stafford at quarterback. Christian McCaffrey at running back, Najee Harris at running back, Calvin Ridley, receiver, Tyler Lockett at receiver, uh, Mark Andrews at tight end, and in the flex, we got Chris Carson. That's a solid fucking lineup right there, man. 
that's a real solid line. Yes, up. sir. So let me remove some of these spots that we currently filled until we back looking for another quarterback. Leave Jalen on our radar. See how low we can steal him. We're not going to be looking for a tight end until later in the rounds. All right, so who we looking to uh, keep on our radar for going into round seven? Seven. All right. Is round seven or eight? Finishing up round seven, going into eight. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, let's see. We are – if Mike Davis is – put Mike Davis in the queue, Mike Davis, Daryl Henderson, Miles Gaskin in the queue. I don't like Kareem Hunt because he hit women. Uh, so I, I, don't, yeah, I don't draft guys I have uh, moral issues with Big Ben will never draft Big Ben will never draft Kirk will never draft Kirk Cousins um, Kareem Hunt is the one who hit the white girl who called him a nigga and then slapped him in the face right no that's mixing that's, that's mixing that, that was Joe Mason. Kareem Hunt got some other shit okay yeah 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 okay I was about to say the facts matter yeah, Kareem Hunt it was on some other shit. Um, and then check out our receivers and see who can, who we can throw in the queue. We still got Devontae Smith in that thing. Robbie, yeah, definitely throw Robbie Anderson in our queue. Definitely throw Juju. Uh, yeah, Kareem, actually, throw Brandon yeah, Cooks in our queue too. His old engine all the time, man. Yeah, Juju, put Juju, uh, and Chase. For what, what though? Who that? How about Jay Judy instead of Juju? Um, that's fine. But if we if we don't go Juju, go uh, Chase Claypool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my money on on uh double C instead of JJ. Yeah, if we scooped up uh, he got to start going by John. When he go by John, I draft him. We got three big time running backs. We got two big time, so we going receiver with this next pick. Some good third receivers to put at the bottom of our queue just for radar purposes toward the end, I think, would be Michael Gallup. Um, we already got Devontae Smith and Jarvis Landry. What you think? Um, I really like Jarvis Landry, yes. All right, um, I'll leave Gallup off for now. Who are you heading us toward? Let's prioritize the queue real quick before we add some more. We got a little while before we pick. So who are we prioritizing? We got Devontae Smith. Uh, Hertz is still up there. Let me hide the quarterback down here. We got Juice Landry. Who is this nigga? Uh, that is uh, Matt Stafford's running back this year. You can't make that wider. I'm looking at the little whiff thing. I don't think so. Yeah, nah, that's funny. The people watching the podcast are gonna be able to see me jiggling that. <laughs> that uh, what they snatched? They snatched up Chase Claypool and Bobby Anderson. Both of them? Yeah. So all we got a Devontae Smith and Juice Landry. Oof. We got Brandon Cooks there. We got yeah, we got a lot of guys we got up there. We good. Tyler Boyd. I put Tyler Boyd in the queue. Tyler Boyd gonna be the number one receiver this year in Cincinnati with Joe Burrow back off that injury. I feel like he gonna be slanging that pair this year. Oh hey, forget about it. Yeah, can't believe we got uh, robbed of a year of his growth. Yeah, <clears throat> I just pray that he won that press guide and. Then <laughs> Throwing hard as fuck with his upper body because he's trying to be ready. I hope he actually took some rest and just worked out. Yeah, you know I mean, did that that did that that pre that pregame. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest shit, bro. Open the hips. Open the hips. Well, I already done chose about five songs to uh, put that shit to. So who we picking when they come up, man? If we got our choice, we going wide out. Damn, they just took Judy. Oh, uh, we going Tyler Boyd. Fuck on the stick. He ain't on people radar, it seems. Don't let me jinx it. He should be. Don't, hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Come on, Hinkle. Fucking. <laughs> Wasn't that the villain name in motherfucking Aventura? 
Uh, yeah, Finkel, Finkel. Uh, was it a man on there, Finkelman? Rob, Rob, I want to say Rob Hinkleman. Finkel, yeah. yeah, he posed as a woman or some shit like that. It's nah, a, I think he, yeah. Dollar Boy. Shout out to my nigga too. It's back on us, ain't it? Yep. Um, um, Daryl Henderson. Who are they? Running back? Yeah, running back for um, LA. They still the Rams, right? LA Rams, right? <laughs> yeah, they ain't changed mascot. <laughs> Jet City. I hate that they don't do like. Why don't they change mascots, man? If you go change cities, you might you gotta change all this other shit anyway. Change your mascot. Like I'm disgusted that New Orleans don't have the logo yet. more important to the brand than the abbreviation you put inside of it. I think actually that's the, why. the Rams was in L. A. to begin with, weren't they? Didn't they move to? Yeah. yeah okay, so, so it's a did. return to sell. So it's no, like is it's it like mountains in St. Yeah, Louis? Hell, it, oh no, 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 hell no. Yeah, they should. They probably should have been the St. Louis Blues, but the St. Louis Blues is the hockey team in St. Louis, so, so the St. Louis Barbecues is what they end up. They could have been the St. Louis Sheep. It's Sheep up there, ain't it? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> and nigga Nelly said, "Y'all think we up here on farms and tractors?" And then they showed a picture of that nigga abandoned mansion that he couldn't sell because who gonna buy it? <laughs> we some old country boy that ride B twelves and horses, saddle up and ten million dollar fucking beastly mansion in the middle of the woods of St. Louis. Niggas ain't trying to live up there with them birds and Canadians and shit. Nelly was what the fuck we doing in this dress? He didn't try to sell it in St. Louis. Yeah, and where he from, nigga? I understand that, but you gotta keep that. <laughs> you yeah, like LeBron that. got that sex ad crib in Cleveland. He find reasons to go back to. He just be making up reasons to go back to Cleveland when they go play. Whenever the team he own play Cleveland, he find as many people as he can to come back. Teams stay oh. over the night and shit. Check out our defense, man. What we got? Check out them defenses because they starting. To, they starting. To, we gonna get our starting line up sexy. Bills. Oh, uh, Niners, nigga. Washington. Yeah. Which one? Let me let me hold on. Let me look at my. Let me my look at our research. Washington. Yeah, my. Let me, let research. me look at my research. What's your research say? Let me know. Let me know something. Say Washington by three positions. Got Washington at three. Got San Francisco at six. What's your research got him at? What's the spread? My, re- my research got the Bills as the third best defense behind the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and behind the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. My quick top five is five to one. Well, I go six because we was talking about getting San Francisco and they took the other team. The Rams are still there, nigga. What's up? Rams or the Niners? Ooh. The Colts are not in my top five when I'm looking at my list. Yeah, the Niners got a bolster, so don't they? Ooh, San Francisco gone, so we getting the Rams? Uh, let's do it. I take Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey, GSH Cowboys, gang gang. Shouts out to Pittsburgh. Yeah, we'll do that. Everybody, damn, everybody knew he was going defense. If five defenses went in like seven picks. Bro. <laughs> it got to be a way to see who queued or some queued in seven teams or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, somebody jailbreaking the, uh, the draft, man. <laughs> oh, it's our turn. We going to kick her? Oh, oh hell no, nah, not yet. Um, let's look at uh, damn, I didn't know. I forgot. We we go right back to back. Let's see what tight ends on the board. I mean, uh, receivers on the board. There's a lot of receiver depth. All right, so we got Chris Samuel there. Chris Samuel, All right, Juice so put, still there. We got Juice there. Chris Samuel there. Chris Samuel's gonna be great this year. Um, go to running. Back Antonio Brown was real low. If I remember somebody, correctly, I think, can I you remember somebody scooping him? Somebody, uh, yeah, you type in Brown. I think somebody scooped his ass. 
Oh, there he is. He third man down. He's still available. Get his ass. We'll go Antonio Brown. We'll go Antonio Brown. In eight games, in eight games, he had 48 catches and 560 yards. If he was there for 16, he'd have had a thousand yard season. I will take that. And he just his small role. You got damn right he did. With Tom Brady. So yeah, he did. Yeah. And made amends with the head coach. He remember him as A B that caught that touchdown in the Super Bowl. He remember Gronk as that guy who didn't quite do much, but he caught that touchdown in the Super Bowl. Like the Tom Brady gimme my guys. He said, Go get me for net touchdown in the Super Bowl. He said, Go get me A B touchdown in the Super Bowl. He said, Go get me Gronk touchdown in the Super Bowl. So I think Bruce bought in. You can't tell Bruce shit by this team now. Them his boys, you know what I'm saying? We them boys. And now they they them cowboys. Hey, you talking about. So what um, we need now? Check us out on the uh if we go on next round, if we like our lineup is very strong. If we wanted to go kicker, we could. Um look at running backs and see what's available. I can't move. Just cause that you can't move what? Oh, because I searched oh, Brown yeah, yeah, and somebody yeah. got Marquise. He ain't available. Somebody seen us get Antonio. They said, let me go get Hollywood. Y'all lame. You saw that they should have dropped down at yeah, all positions. Hit there. That's what you want. Yeah, I see who all who available at running back. Oh, I got Kenyon in my other league. I'm, I'm pretty confident in that pick. Um, oh, James Connor's still out there. Don't you like OG? Did you draft him when he was a Pittsburgh Steeler? I did not. Um, he very. I think I did. Man. Yeah, he got. Throw it. Jamal Williams in IQ, and then go to. We gonna go to. Uh, damn, I really like Jalen Hurts still being there. That's wild. I told you he was gonna be there, bro. Yeah, I ain't know he was gonna be here twelve. I said he'd be that nine. What you think? Go ahead and get him. I'm so glad we didn't waste that pick early on him. I don't mean to yeah. say waste, but I know Matthew Stafford would have right. still been right. there. He, he he wouldn't have. Um, also, this some to, this some GM shit here. Go to let's see, let's look at. So we got plenty of receivers. We got two receivers on our bench. We got four receivers in all. I want to end up with at least five or six. Um, and then we need a backup tight end and a backup quarterback. I think we may need to go Jalen Hurts, show up that quarterback position. Who they took? Well, we picked back to back, so. Oh, that's right. So let's yeah. let's let's get a backup running back. If you're saying we need another running back and another yeah, so quarterback, Williams. let's get yes. one more running back and one more quarterback in the queue. So. Uh, N- niggas quit. avoided this Naheem Hines nigga like he was like he was like cooties in the other league, and I think it's just because people like don't know Naeem, who the fuck Naeem. he is. Yeah, cue that like fool. Naeem, yeah, cue Naheem. Okay, and then so who? Let's, who? Re- let's look at quarterbacks. Yeah, let's look at court- oh, we got Jalen Hurts there, and then put Ryan. That fool Tannehill still there. Yeah, yeah. Tannehill. Who else then, on the queue? Your boy TT still Tua. in there. Let's put let's put Tua in the queue. I feel like he gonna throw some picks. We gonna cuss him out if he the GSH quarterback. Um, go to how you feel about Thick Nick? We'll put him in the queue just to see where he end up going. He gonna he gonna be off the board. I feel like he I feel like he gonna have a better year than people give him than they people project he gonna have because Tebow was on his team and stole all of the storylines from camp. They ain't even talking about the boy is Roy, and ain't no way they shouldn't be because he's the only one who has had starter reps without question the whole camp. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, people have really forgot about him since he lost a national championship game, man. And that's good for folks who are catching him at the end of drafts like we are. <laughs> I had somebody say something on the show, and they got uh, a lot of blowback, but I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, they were like, if you look at what Clemson offense looked like without him. Curtis. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You should Curtis. be pretty excited for what Jacksonville offense going to look like with him. You feel what I'm saying? Put Curtis in our queue. Folks, it's tripping. Yeah. You got faith in that boy? Put the boy Jalen Waddle in the queue. 
And then Michael Pittman. Michael Pittman is a number one receiver for the Indianapolis Colts. And he been going like 12th, 13th round, which is insane. Like he a number one receiver. I think it's because of Carson uh, come and he wins. Okay, so we're looking at Jay Williams. I think our priority is Jay Williams. And then our priority is... I think Chris Samuel. I think I, I rate Chris. I mean Curtis Samuel higher than I do Michael Pittman. Jalen Waddle in there too. I forgot to click him in initially, but he third right there. Okay, and he he the highest isn't he? Not Curtis Samuel ninety one. He ninety five. Your boy Jay Williams, the one you say at the top one hundred two, but you the GM. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 assistant GM this year. <clears throat> we win the yeah. ship. You stay GM. We don't. We'll switch it up next year. Up, oh, we up. So so what's up, bro? All of our choices are available that are in the queue. What are we doing? Uh, we are going to go Jamal Williams. Get the running back position. Yeah, yeah, and then Curtis Samuel. Bet that. Let's see what our total lineup look like. So we got Matthew Stafford, we got McCaffrey, we got Najee Harris, Calvin Ridley, Tyler Lockett. Mark Andrews, Chris Carson, Rams D, Tyler Boyd, Daryl Henderson, uh, Antonio Brown, our boy Jamal Williams, and Curtis Samuel. Yeah, we solid as fuck. We need a tight end and a backup quarterback, and we good money, bro. It's a couple players that I think going to have, like, good years, but, like, with the because it's 10, it's a 10. So we can get Hines the fuck out of here because I never wanted him. I said, it's a reason everybody avoiding that fool. <laughs> Why you gonna do my dog like that, man? I don't know. Quiet, be the he disappeared cat. like it was meant to be, though. <laughs> Look at that name just vanished. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, throw Tyler Higby in the queue. <laughs> if he get back to bed and it quit, he said, okay, that nigga Dave be listening. Damn, I can't believe Tannehill. We going Tannehill, Higby. Let's do it. Damn, somebody just snatched Higby while what? I was moving him. While I was moving him up, somebody drafted that nigga, B. <laughs> he disappeared like a bug. My mouse, you see the space? It's just butt naked. <laughs> Uh, put Gerald Everett in that thing, man. Who that is? That's going to be... This nigga? Yeah, he's going to be uh, he, uh, yeah, he, gonna be Russ tight end this year. Yeah. Russ keeps so many plays alive, bro. And like that big area coming to the ball, his tight end. It done messed up our Q section, bro. Look at that. It glitched our Q section. Okay, Tanner Hill's still there. That's cool. He at the top. Um, we can't see that man. He's so white, we can't see him. <laughs> what time is it? Is my other lead started? Nah, we got time. You gonna do the other draft with me, cuz? Hell no, nah, I gotta jump back into work. We <laughs> 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 eating crawfish? Ooh. Oh, I thought you was eating some crawfish. Nigga, you eating crawfish? Or that slang for some no. questionable? No. Uh, are you eating crawfish? Yo, daddy eating crawfish, nigga. Nah, I'm talking shit. It's that slang. Atlanta niggas always say some slang. <laughs> oh, scroll down so I can see like the players that's being that's flying off the board. For us? Or was Justin Fields the last person that was took? I don't know. I think that's Ryan Tannehill right there. And then this Michael oh, Pittman. No, I'm talking about I'm not not for us for like overall over here on your four right. Go to all? 
No, 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 no. Uh, on your far right over here, um, where it says Young Hoku, Dallas Goddard, Curtis Samuel, all them. Scroll to the bottom so we can see like who the last pick, pick was. Yeah, you was right. Yeah, you had your curse over. Uh, who the last? No, no, no. Other way, other way. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Somebody took Ryan Tanner. Yeah. That's what I wanted to see. There you go. So the bottom name right there is the last pick. Jalen Hurts still in there? Hell nah. Don't look like it. You got Tua, Trevor. Go to all positions and then hit quarterbacks and see. Who else yeah, who quarterbacks will be at the top of the scoring thing. You got Joe Burrow, Tua, Baker. Baker Mayfield still there? What's up with I Baker, cuz? They're going to be running the ball a lot this year. I don't give a fuck, bro. He he gone. So. We'll go. Uh, yeah, Gerald Everett. Is Gerald Everett still there? Or they took him. Who is that? That was our tight end that we had in the queue. I think he gone. Or two. Uh, he does. Well. Scroll up. Gerald Everett not there? there yeah, he there. Yeah. Get it? Yeah, yeah. And then I'll let you choose the quarterback. We can either go with Tua or Burrow. Who else, who are the other quarterbacks you who was on that uh, uh, Baker gone? Did you want uh Ryan Fitzpatrick? I bet you won't get Ryan Fitzpatrick. Mac uh, Jones might be a sneaky pick. Uh Trey Lance on that bit too, cuz. So who we going, bro? We got one minute. I see Joe Burrow. He tempts him. Matt Ryan going to put up big numbers, but them picks make you want to punch him in the face. Derek Carr. Uh, I'd go Joe Burrow. You know. Because he playing a less talented. Uh, I guess he in a pretty tough division with Pittsburgh and what about Jay Boo? Ravens. I wouldn't score that far down. I get one of guys because Jay Boo, he, he gonna be in, he gonna be in the waivers. So we can either get two or Trevor Lawrence, and then just get Jay Boo in the, in the in the waivers if he really gonna ball out like that. I only Maybe. see them in the list of top QBs over here though. The two was and the Trevor Lawrence's they fall down. We got fifteen no, they're seconds. They're at the top. They're at the top. No, they're not. Who we getting? Uh, go Joe Burrow. And then kickers the next thing we're gonna need. <laughs> we got 10 seconds. Who we getting? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, motherfucker. Um, how you remove niggas from the queue, huh? Get out of here. Ryan Tannehill still there, bro. Fuck. I hate this shit. That's fucked up. He was white, bro. I told you he was still up there. Wow. You told me that was somebody else, bro. No, it was, he was That's the fucking pick, bro. I hate that shit. Shit on a fucking stick. Hopefully nobody's scooping because we're going to have the last pick in the draft. Get get him instead of a kicker? Uh, We can't. Cause we can't drop nobody while the draft's still going and all of our bench spots is filled up, so we got to get a kicker. I mean, I would, but we won't be able to. We're going to waste our fucking wave of wide pick as the number one overall pick. We're going to be at the back, no, though. No, no, I don't. Uh, yeah. Tyler Bass. Matt Prater. Greg Zerline. Why are all these motherfuckers still on the board? It sounds like you're reading from the bottom instead of the top. Where the fuck you see Greg Zerline? Greg Zerline is 189. Yeah, you is reading from the bottom. Why the fuck would you go down there instead of looking at Jason Myers in Seattle, nigga? I look at offenses. Pete you Carroll. Pete Carroll, stay fucking Russ over and not going for it. <laughs> I'm cueing that nigga. 
executive decision, cuz. You Jerry Jones on this one. You don't see the value in that, boy. You tripping. L.A. Rams? Him too, cuz. What's up? Damn, you gonna tell me I'm the, you gonna tell me I'm the GM and then say, nah, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just I'm going rogue. I got the mouse. <laughs> okay, got fuck the, it then. Who got who got the clicky buttons? I got the clicky this buttons. This bitch won 189. He won Greg Zerline from fucking Dallas. Goodness gracious. So when we look at this at the end of the year. And Greg Zerline got more got more points than Jason, whoever the hell that whoever the hell. Momoa, Momoa, that what you're finna say? <laughs> Cleveland. <laughs> A lot of folks in drafted Cleveland. They didn't put their ass right back in that damn queue after they realized who Cleveland got week one. <laughs> who they got? They said, nope. <laughs> They got Kansas City or some shit. And everybody like, nah, we good. We'll get them, we'll get them next week. <laughs> we'll scoop them up all the way. Ain't nobody going to pick them up. They're going to be there. <laughs> they will be there. They will be there. I can't believe it. Give me some headlines draft special. We ain't said shit about the show. We just been drafting, boy. We've been focused. Hey, you talking about? Yeah. Imagine doing this shit by yourself. <laughs> I was so stressed. <laughs> I got to let you see that video. We're going to take some clips from that shit. I, I was in there saying, man, I am not impressed with myself. Um, I told I, I said I was gonna stay calm. I am fucking livid, bro. I am mad. I, I so kick mad. a gone man. Greg Zerline got took. I, I know you happy. T- take the kick you want. <laughs> what kicker you want? The kick I wanted ain't there. <clears throat> um, Tyler Bass. <laughs> he was not sure. God was not gonna give it to me. <laughs> we finna manage this team to greatness, man. Look at this. Look at this fire we got. Give him the rundown for and close it on that, man. This has been the Give Me Some Headlines, episode twenty-two, season one. Draft special. We gave y'all the draft prep show. Then we gave y'all the draft for the GSH. Give me some headlines, Cowboys. Talk to the people. P, run through your roster, GM. Yes, sir. We got run CMC, Mr. Christian McCaffrey in the first round. Second round, we got Mr. Najee Harris uh, out of Alabama. We got another Alabamian, Calvin Ridley. We're going to follow him up with the running back out of Seattle, Mr. Chris Carson. Then we're going to follow that up with another Seahawk, Tyler Lockett. And then we're going to follow that up with another guy that's in the same division, Matthew Stafford at quarterback. And then our tight end, Mr. Mark Andrews himself, catching balls from Lamar Jackson, Mr. Jackson, if you're nasty, Tyler Boyd, the number one receiver for I got Joe Burrow. We got Daryl Henderson, the running back for the L.A. Rams. And then we picked up the L.A. Rams defense. And then we got our dog, A.B., Mr. Touchdown himself. Mr. Big Catch, Antonio Brown. And then we got Jamal Williams making a move to Detroit, uh, coming from Green Bay. So he's gonna take the, over that uh that uh blue collar work ethic, uh hard nose running into Detroit. Uh Fort then we got our guy Curtis Samuel, who's gonna be catching balls from Ryan Fitzpatrick. We didn't we weren't able to get scary Terry, but we got the second guy on that roster, which I think is gonna really pay off dividends for us. And then we coming with Russell Westbrooks, a third option in his uh, backfield. So we really banking on this Seattle offense doing some work this year. We got Gerald Everett tight end. And then our backup quarterback is going to be Mr. Joe Burrow himself. Mr. Heisman Trophy, Mr. National Championship. And then our kicker is a white guy named Tyler. So we know he's going to get the job done. You see, see he got the eye man. black. You see he got the eye black. I think he's the hardest one on the roster. <laughs> he a kicker like with eye black. 230 pounds or some crazy shit like that. So he's going to be really getting some weight behind that ball. He really oh, yeah. eye black. He about that action. 
Yeah, Tyler. Look at that roster, y'all. That roster about that action. Make no mistake about it. No doubts. Yeah. Um, but uh, Joe Burrow might not be that very long because we might scoop up Ryan Tannehill <laughs> in these wipers. <laughs> yeah, I already in know. These wipers. Uh, but yeah, man. Give me some headlines. Show 22. We gave you the pre-show. And then we here, man. Uh, GSH Cowboys. We really, uh, yeah. Y'all about to see if we some experts at this thing or not. Yeah, man. Moving forward, when he throw me that GSH Cowboys, I'm going to hit him with that. Yeehaw. But yeah, he has been P. I have been COD. And remember that we are giving me some headlines. Always believe that whether dealing with your partner or, you know, charity, it is always better to give than to receive. Signing off.